Okay. Hopefully this is working perfectly fine. Uh, okay. So after getting uh, choking down lunch and then weeding the lawn, uh, weeding some flowers and scratching my teeth and screwing around with uh, my uh, settings so that my Wacom pad was actually working correctly today. There we are. Uh, hi guys, I'm Katiefrog217 and I'm going to be doing a tutorial today for how how to draw. Draw. I'm so at writing. Uh, my style of MLB. Now, before any of you ask, yes, yes, I am drawing MLP characters. And before any of you start to complain, it's my choice. And I know what the next question is, is am I a huge fan? For me, I'm kind of, uh, it's, it's, I'm not a huge fangirl. I think it's an okay show. I, honestly, I just kind of started drawing it because a friend of mine wanted to do an art trade with me. And I had to do a, a pony picture to help her uh, create a picture for me. And uh, so I was kind of starting on that. And it's a nice break from doing all, like, the anime stuff I do. Um... And I still exclusively or mostly do anime. I just like to take a break once in a while and do MLP. So, and if I don't feel, uh, so or not feel, <laughs> yeah, yeah, I feel, uh, you guys can touch me through the screen, but no, if I sound a little, uh, nervous or if I stutter a lot, it's because I'm not used to talking to myself, uh, into a microphone without someone either on the other end or generally I'll talk to myself without a microphone. So, and if there are any interruptions, I apologize, but, okay, but yeah, so, um, a friend of mine on DeviantArt, whose name is Jelly Bray, really liked my style of MLP, um, and so I told her I would do a tutorial for her, and I don't know how long this tutorial is going to be, and I'm basically going to cover how I, how I draw, and like, my style, I guess. Because I've had so many people tell me it's so anime-esque, and that should be a, a given, considering I draw anime characters all the time. But, um... Uh, so yeah, I don't know if I'll go into coloring. Or, I might do outlining. But I don't know if I'll do coloring, because coloring's basically really simple for me. Um... But I will try to be covering as uh, many things, like side view, uh, the different pony ages, uh, tall and short, and, uh, I guess different, different mane and tail styles. Uh, I'll try this, again, I'll just try to cover as much as I can with this tutorial. So, uh, to start off, I don't generally have a sketch ready to go when I start, and if you can hear anything in the background, I apologize, my dad's working outside, but, um, I don't generally start with a sketch. I have usually just a blank piece, uh, a blank sheet, and I always do all my sketching on, uh, the internet, I guess you could call it. I call, I do it all digitally. Uh, of course, um, occasionally I will have a sketch, but usually I do those sketches in my sketchbook, and I absolutely hate uh, taking anything out of my sketchbook, so um, sometimes I'll use that as a reference. But uh, to start off, uh, what I use to uh, sketch uh, nowadays, or do like a, a rough sketch, is a brush I call the Yamio, because I got it from a deviant artist named well, Yamio on DeviantArt. And it's a basic, it's a marker brush, and I'll just give you, uh, it's all over here, really, if you need to see it. I'll let that sink in. Those are my settings for it. And I usually use a stabilizer of 7. Uh, but I'll occasionally use, like, 15, because it's a bit slower. So, give that a few more seconds, and then I'll just erase this, then pull that back down. And, uh, I do use a, um, a drawing pad, just in case anybody wants to know. It's, a it's, a an Intuos, 
three whack on that. And it is the wired one, so I have to deal with a wire. Yeah, I know. Um, so, I guess what we can start out with is heads. So, when I draw heads, I just kind of start off with a really simple circle. And I don't care how big it is compared to the canvas. I'll probably size it down later. But, uh, let's, I guess, yeah, I just kind of start out with a circle. And... For the snout, I do a couple different things, but mostly it's going down as a line and then coming out and doing something kind of like this. I want to follow the shape of the circle as much as I can. Actually, that's kind of really lame because usually I match that up with the circle, like the bottom. So if I go over here, I just... Yeah, see, it's supposed to go like that. Sometimes I'll miss it. And then this is used as the go-up part of the forehead. And sometimes I'll flatten out the head, sometimes I'll make it round. But usually I just kind of flatten it out a bit. And then as for the ears, this is a side view, by the way. So this is side. Um, for the ears, it depends on the ear. And I start with a kind of a curved line about, oh, I want to say, three-fourths of the way through the this part of the head. And I kind of just go like, well, no, I want that higher. Uh, go like this, or... I suck at drawing on tutorials. Uh, but yeah, usually it'll look something like that. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, if I blew out your eardrums, there was something buzzing around my face. Um, and then eyes usually will go here, somewhere. And I do so, uh, anime-esque eyes, so they're going to go about, I want to say, three-fourths three of the way through the snout or head area. And I, what is that? It's a mosquito. Sorry if you heard that. Death to the mosquito. But, um, yeah, it'll typically go about three-fourths the way. I might actually, I'll just leave it like that for the moment. And then I'll erase this head here because it looks stupid. Uh, oh. There we go. Move this head over here. And then I might, yeah, just size that. So, no, maybe I'll just... As for, um... Sorry, my long hair is really bugging me. Um, so for neck, I usually go, I want to say, well, this is the head length. So I want to say right here. Again, maybe about halfway through. Uh, the head right where this would connect to the circle is the neck. And then the neck, you want to come off that circle and you want to go around and then you want to do this. So you want to come in a little bit on this side of the neck and then you want to go back out in a smooth transition. Man, I really suck at drawing necks sometimes. And then I'm going to curve this out. You don't want to do it too long because that um, really makes the pony look awkward. Uh, and then I'm going to size this down a bit so I can get in the body. Now, um, what I used to do for the body is I used to just draw a circle here as well. Because I would follow the curve of the circle. You can still do that, but I generally just go by eye nowadays. So, it's kind of, from the neck you want to go, oh, that's such a big neck, come on. There we go. And then... I might slow my pen down here in a second. Uh, 15. So I want to just go with the curve. And when you're doing the back, you want to go down and then back up. And then do a booty bump, I guess. And then, so it kind of goes like that. This is a bit thick for the body. And then, uh, I always do the back leg before I do the front. So the back leg will go like this. It'll start uh, about pff, barely a fourth of the way into the body. I'll just get that. And then you're going to go in and just come out a little bit. And then I'm going to adjust this. So you want to make it kind of roundish, but you don't want to make it too round. So he kind of looks like his leg is going back. I'm going to move this pony up a bit. I have no idea what I'm drawing. I'm just doodling. That's a big butt. I'm going to thin that out. Uh, you don't have to be too meticulous with your sketch. You can always uh, edit it when you do the final lining. But I like to try to make it as perfect as possible, usually. 
because I can be really indecisive. And this brush, it gets darker if you hold it down because it's meant to be light. So if you want a more definite line, just kind of press down harder on your your drawing thing. Uh, I guess this is going to be a stallion. I'm not really sure. I do all the heads kind of the same. Um, so then I'm going to do the leg. And if you're making a shorter pony, uh, you can draw shorter legs. But uh, I think this is a good... I'm looking up here because I like to see what it looks like from farther away. I think this is a good uh, leg height for him. And then I do the uh, leg. Occasionally I'll quirk the leg up in on this side, but usually it's not. So what I do is I go about, I want to say, this amount of different distance. It kind of looks like an angry bear. Um, but I'll go like that, and then it's a curved line, so you want to do it like a shallow curve. And then it's going to curve it just slightly, and then you're going to go about here, and then you're going to curve it down to meet up with the leg. And you want to have a good, considerable amount of space between uh, your back and your front leg. And then for the... I'm sorry for moving fast again. I'll do a couple different positions of this. Um... For the other leg, I always like to quirk up the leg. So you can, if you don't want to do that, you could just do it like this. Which goes about, oh, I want to say a quarter of an inch or something away from the leg. But I like to quirk the front leg up a bit. And that goes like, I want to go like, oh, that actually, I think that's a bit low. I want to go a bit up the chest. So about right here. So it would be parallel with where this connects. And then you quirk it up. And then I want to come, I want to say come down like this. You want to curve it. And then curve the bottom of the foot. And then curve it up a little bit. Make a little indent there. And then make a curve as you reach up to meet that. Just a little bit. I'm probably going to edit that just a smidge. Okay. Try to make it like if you were to stretch out that leg the same length as that. And then for the back leg, I usually just do a, uh, I want to say a leg like this, which is just do a small curve and then try to make it look not awkward matching up with the other one. And you don't want to make it match with the front foot because they're in the back, so they're going to be a bit farther away. I'm going to move that back. Okay. So that's how you, oh, I want to, sorry, I'm, I'm just really editing this because it's, like, bothering me. Uh, where'd my, yeah, you can see I have a ton of brushes, but, there we go. And so this is how you do the, oh, I need to do the other ear, don't I? So basically, when you do the other ear, is you're just going to go like this. And you're going to want to round it like this. And I want to say, uh, move it like so it looks like it's bending forward a bit. Uh, actually, I don't like that. Control Z that. And you're just going to want to bend it forward a bit. Ah, crap. <laughs> I hate drawing the other ear. So it goes like that. That's how you do the other ear. And where I put, I'm going to make a new layer here so I don't draw on this layer. Because uh, I do all my accessories on a different layer. And yeah, the horn goes about, I want to say, this. there's a curve here. And then the horn goes about where that curve is going to meet the, um, uh, the little quirk here. So then it goes like that. And I usually just make my horns really pointy. You can make yours rounded. And then uh, for a folded wing, you want to go, I want to say, right up, uh, right past the haunch here and just make a kind of, you can overlap that leg a bit. I want to just go like this and kind of make just a wing if you want a folded wing. As for a, I have a harder time with open wings, so with an open wing, you want to go about... I want to say just a bit off of where these uh, the neck and the 
body meet here. Ooh, got hiccups. And you want to just curve it up, just like do a little dash here, then slightly curve it, and then you want to go up like this. And you're going to make the first uh, uh, feather there. And then you can go back down to the bottom, and you make smaller feathers, and then you want to keep going and add some uh, larger feathers. I like this one to be farther away from the... I hate open wings. The uh, the other feathers, so it kind of looks like that. I kind of changed the length. I like this top feather to be a lot longer than the others, and they get progressively smaller. Um, as for mane and tail, uh, if I were going to do, I don't know. Um, I'm gonna put this again on a new layer because I don't want it to intersect with the um the body in case I needed to do make an edit to the body or the hair. Um for main styles I usually do something really anime esque. So but basically what you want to do is you don't want to make them like flat. You don't want to make them really flat. I want to give them more volume. So I'm going to just draw some hair here as if I saw like an anime uh anime character style. And this is going to come around front. I'm just kind of doing a really basic main style here. And I do draw slightly on the other side sometimes. Like, because I never do the same style on each side. So something kind of like that, I guess. Uh, okay. Sorry, I'm kind of just again editing. I don't like this to look like it's just going through, so I always put a little quirk here sometimes to make it look as if the, the mane's going up and then we've got the hair coming down. Hair, oh my gosh, mane, I don't know. And uh, I try to match the mane to the hair or the, the tail to the mane. <laughs> oh my goodness. Um, so if I were to do something for that, it'd probably be... I like to arc my tails and give them a little bit of distance away from the, uh, I'm going to turn down the opacity of this, the body just so that it doesn't run straight into the body. And I'm going to go, whoops, that's the wrong mark there. I'm going to go down and I'm going to go back out. Just going to put a little quirk here for uh, hair and then I'm going to go like this. I always like to make the end usually go out if I'm doing a uh, um, puffier tail. So. And then where I put the mouth on these ponies, because I'm going to turn down the size of this, is usually about right here. Right, like, right near the eye. And then the nose kind of goes right there, right at the end of the snout. And then... Uh, I'm just going to take off the hair there for a second. I'm going to show you how I outline. So I've turned on the opacity of this. And I'm going to just grab a standard pen. And I'm going to change my uh, stabilizer to S7. Because I like to have really smooth ones. Or smooth lines. And I'm going to change this to about 12 I think. Yeah 12 I think should work. And then I'm going to change the minimum size to anything from around 50 to 60 ish. And I'm just going to line it. Control Z, you, I want to, I'm, uh, was it right handed? So my left hand's always on Control Z in case I need to, uh, uh, undo a line. I guess that'll work. And, um, because I hand line all mine, so sometimes it takes me a few tries to get the line right. Uh, let's see. Sorry, when I do line art, I kind of get quiet. And then, yeah, it'll look like that, I think. Mm, I could do, I could do the head a couple different ways, so like, I just kind of hid that layer. I could do it a bit larger. It's basically kind of going with the curve of the face. Oh, crap. And I don't want to make it like, like... It's just connected. I want to go down a bit and then around so that you give it kind of a snout shape. Kind of looks like a dragon. Jeez. Okay. So I'm going to go back to my other line art. Then I'm going to do the ears. 
And it's just like you want to kind of make them look round. I don't usually round the top of my ears, so if that bugs you, you can always round it. I'm going to just erase that part. And I'm going to go to the other ear, and I'm just going to outline that. Oh, crap. Come on. Oh, it's always the other ear. It's never the other eye anymore, because this isn't, um, what is it, anime art. Oh, if you want to, one of the other things you can do is you can, if you want to uh, make sure that the head and neck curve is nice, you can always just go like this. Like, start from the head, the back of the head, and just do the back, and then do the face, and then, like, on a new layer, do the ears. So that this is a really nice curve. But I digress, so I'm going to go back to this. I'm just going to try to match it up for where that curve would come in. Just try to follow my lines here. This is kind of a bit more pointier faced pony. I don't... I kind of do different types of styles for them. I just want to get the chest there. Here we go. And then I do the back. And then I do this leg. Well, sometimes I'll just do the belly. First, I kind of want to make a round belly. Not too fat, but I want to go... I want to give it just a bit of definition. Um, that might work. No. I think that'll work. And then I'll probably give it more. Eh, I'll do the back leg first. <laughs> I'm really indecisive when it comes to uh, the belly. Because I feel like if you don't do the belly right, it makes the body look really small in comparison. Let me go like this. Kind of like to make that little quirk there. But you don't have to. Uh, let's see. There we go. And then the foot. Mm. Yeah, I'm gonna even that out. Ah. Kind of go over again. Make that line smooth. And, oh, uh, I don't always do my uh, line art in uh, different colors. Sometimes I'll do it in black, depending on the, um, the color of the sketch. But it's easier to do a line art and then change the color of the line art later if you want to. And then I'll do the front leg here. That's a bit pointy. Oh, let me zoom out here and get a little glance. Hide my line art or my sketch. I might change the leg a bit once I'm done line art in this one. Something like this. Wait, no, I'm gonna start with the top. And it's it's my choice to start with the head, like sketching on the head. It, I always find it easier to go from head to body because it's easier to judge like the body uh, size if you've already got the head and neck in. But I digress, so. Then I'll do the back leg. Do this like that. No. Okay, so I'm gonna get rid of that. I'm gonna change, I think, the back leg a bit. Because it doesn't look high enough. So, I'm gonna go into the zoom in. I'm just going to edit that. Give it less of a curve. But I might change this to help. Well, I don't want it to look like his leg is like, Bleh. so I think that'll work unless I can just, yeah, maybe add that much to it. Nah, that'll work. Um, uh, maybe I could just make the back a little bit wider. Bit, not a lot. No. Yeah, I think that'll work. Yeah, 
yeah, I think that'll work. Okay, so there's your basic body. This is a bit different than uh, maybe standard bodies I do. It's a bit slimmer, a bit cuter. I guess it's because I've been looking at other people's art lately. And then as for eyes, I'm going to put back up my thing here. I always do eyes on a different layer. So... Like that. I just kind of do the eye slowly. Oops. And I, and there's a couple different ways I can do eyes. But that's one of the main ways I do eyes. Um. Whoops, that's the wrong way. Okay, and then sometimes I'll really like the outline, so I'll just like select it, hit, whoops, hit, copy, and then just paste it somewhere, and then hide that. And then below the eye layer, I'm just going to hide the eye, and I'm going to put on the... Where is it? It's the... That's the X. That's that. I need the... There we go. What I want to do now is I'm going to just turn down the line art layer. So I can see this better. But I'm just going to... Once I've made a new uh, layer above the line art, I'm going to just do the hair. And like that. For the main... Sorry, I always say hair because I'm so used to doing uh, anime uh, anime things that I'm not used to saying mane or whatnot. Curve that in because I want to give it a bit of volume. Uh, let's see. I don't have to worry too much about the line art since I'm on a new layer, so I'm just going to draw this, or line it, or ink it, I don't care how you uh, say it really, it's all up to you. Go like that. If I sound really monotone, it's because I get really into what I'm doing, so I don't focus as much on uh, my speech as I do the drawing. Which is why I say, uh, a lot when I'm speaking and I'm drawing. I'll go to the tail. Clean that out. Curves. Right, nope. Uh, uh, what? That? Nope. There you go. I'll just hide that. And then we'll bring this layer up. And then we'll just hit S7. Or you can just keep it like lower so you can see the difference. Be very careful around that. Just erase. I'm thinking. Erase what you don't need. I'll keep the ear intact. Okay, I'm gonna oops, bring the opacity of that up. Make sure nothing's colliding with each other too badly. And then I'll merge the layers. And then I'll put on the eye layer, and there you go, a pony. I get I I kind of called this a girl in the beginning, but now I guess it could be a col. Well, it could be a stallion, it could be a mare. I don't know. Um, as for cutie marks, I guess cutie marks go on their, again, their own layer. And they would go something around, like... I'm just drawing a random cutie mark here. Something around, like, right in this area, so it would be, like, right here. Otherwise, and then... 
As for like, if you want to put like hooves in, I always go about like right here. Like I think right here and I just go down. Just a slight curve. Oops. A little bit thinner on the bottom. Okay. This one right here could be done better. Occasionally I just want line art the hooves and just draw them onto the body layer like when I'm coloring. But for all intents and purposes, I'll just do it right here. Damn it, this hoof. So you can do things like that. Or if you wanted to add like, I want to say tufts to the ear, you can go like, start from the base of this, just squirrel it up. Something like that, and then for your next one, if you're gonna do one more, it goes like that. And just kind of bump it over. You've got a tuff, and you can do that for the the body too. So just like that, or something. The second one's always hard for me, so I don't think it's uh, fluffy enough. You can do that here. How does one fluff, guys? You can do that here. Or etc. So. Uh, and then, if I wanted to say change the line art color, I'll just hit preserve opacity, then choose a line art, and then just set color over it. And then I'll just, I guess I can go quickly in the coloring. I just highlight the different parts. And I could say that, and let's say that this is a greenish pony with, I don't know. I'm just, I'm uh, since this is the body layer and I put everything else over the, bo uh, the body color layer, I don't much mind getting it into the other lines. I'm just making sure that I've got everything colored in. Like here. And anywhere that has n uh, little niches. And then I'll hit preserve opacity and then I'll highlight the main. Oh, what color should he have for the main? Oh. I don't quite like that color. Uh, hit reserve opacity. Uh. Ah. No. Uh. How about a red brown or something? Hmm kind of makes him look like Frankenstein. What about a brighter color of this one? Slightly brighter. I don't like that either. Uh, what about an indigo? That's not indigo. That's an indigo. Hmm. What if we reverse it? Clipping group. Get rid of the clipping group. Grab that color. Clipping group. Hmm. Interesting. Oh. <laughs> Usually I have ponies like colors decided by now. But since this is just a random pony I decided to draw for the intensive purposes of this video. I guess that color could work. <coughs> I'm sorry if I blew out anybody's eardrums doing that. I did not know I had to sneeze. That's, I guess, okay. And then for eye color, uh, I don't know, gold maybe? Not that color old. 
a little bit brighter than that. Mm. What about dark color? Like indigo. <laughs> Sorry, I really like uh, the color indigo. Actually, actually really close to his mm, body color. Oh, come on. That's like reddish. I want to go with. Nah, I guess gold could work. His hooves would basically be the same color as, I think, his mane. I think. That's how I would do that. Or you could do him white, or whatever color you typically want. Uh, so... As for coloring, I guess, like... Shading, I want to go with the body color. I'm going to change it to probably more of a blue and then darken it. And hit the multiply. Just going to color this part of the leg in first. Hold on. I guess you could highlight it and then just dump the color in, but if I were to do a lot of coloring by hand, I might turn down the multiply layer. And then... Just draw or add shadows wherever I guess I want. I'm going to turn that back down to zero so I get a really nice sharp line. But, okay, so that's how you draw a pony's side view. Uh, I kind of don't like that. Okay, so that's that right on the pony, I guess. I don't know what I'm gonna. I don't. I'm not gonna color the cutie mark because that was just a random cutie mark. Um, and then I'm just gonna get rid of all this. I'm just hiding the layers. I'm not like getting rid of them, like deleting them. Okay, so then there's. The way I do the front part of the head, so it's going to start out as a circle. A lot of things I'm going to do is start out as a circle. And then ears always come kind of come out and do this round thing. And you do that the same for the other side. Just kind of follow that curve. And then the what you want to do is you want to, I don't want to do the neck yet. I want to, because I don't do strictly stri uh, circular heads, I'm going to come down a bit and just do a bit of a point. I can flatten out that point if I wanted to, but I'm just going to do a bit of a point. And then you, I want to do, like, define the nose, and that nose goes about right here. I'm going to just, yeah. Then the eyes are going to kind of do this. Depending on the eye shape, um, I'll change what these look like, but usually they'll start out with this shape. Nostrils here, this smirk. And then like, the neck. Well, it's a thin neck. Jeez. And then I'll do, what's, what was the main style I did for him? I'll go like this, on a new layer, of course. Uh, hold on. Uh, how would I put that main? I'd probably go like this. Mm, 
not probably not over the eye. Just like something like that, I guess. And again, outlining is kind of all the same. Get your pen, put it on S7. And just outline. Control Z is probably going to be your f best friend, so. Actually, I'm probably going to put a little tuff right there, just to help myself out. Change this to seven, hit and grab the eraser, just erase. Oops, what I don't need. Something like that, I guess. I'm saying I guess because of I'm just randomly doodling, so this isn't as good as I would usually come out as, I think. Um. Uh, let's see. How do I, I just want to save this here real quick. Uh. Just call it Tutorial Pony. Hit save. Um. Other positions. I'm just going to show you how I sketch other positions, like uh, laying down, front view, side view. Uh, there was a picture I drew of someone being of a pony being hugged, so I'll do a quick sketch of a pony being hugged. So you're both going to start with circles, and you want to put your other circle roughly where you want the other one to be. I'm probably going to move that up a bit. Right here. And so the other pony is kind of like, you're my best friend, so it's like a quarter turn. So the ear is going to go right here. And just kind of do a round style here. You want to see the snap just a bit. You're going to come around like this. You want to be out from the circle because that's like center. Uh, ear kind of goes like that. You want to come down from the ear. Yeah, she still want to make this as round as possible. And his face would be like. I like to imagine where his face would be, so. Something around here, so his eye would be like right here. 
Then the other pony's like, I'm being hugged. You can always do these sketches in different colors. So his, one of the legs would go right here. And it's just a very simple kind of round style. And the other one's going to go right here. Well, the other leg from the other pony, I'd like to imagine, is coming up, so it's going to be, like, right here. Or something. I don't know. But the other pony, of course, is getting the crap hugged out of them. So I'm going to erase that so I can see the pony space better. But of course they're going like this. So like, I'm being hugged, what? So one ear is going to go more back. Or you can make them both go back. But I kind of like to have one ear kind of still up. So it's like a Philly being hugged. Because what I'm imagining that leg that's doing the hugging looks like is like, or something, to that degree, I don't know, <laughs> it looks stupid, get rid of that. So that's hugging. Just put that in the corner. Uh, laying down, uh, laying down uh, side views or quarter side view is a little tricky. What you want to do is you want to kind of draw the circles of where your pony is going to be. So this is the back, your butt. This is your front. And uh, I'm trying to remember what the position looked like. Oh, uh, let me think. I need to actually pull up. Uh, is it one of my characters? White Ivory. Where is that? It'd be this position right here. So how we're going to do that is you're going to draw, of course, the circles, as I said, of your pony. One's the head. And the others are the bodies. And the head's going to be a slightly higher than the body. So how this one goes is you're going to want to draw the belly, which is going to start lower than the back. It's going to come up a bit. Your, uh, it's going to go straight into the neck, so you're going to want to go like this. Sorry, it's been a while since I've drawn this position. You want to come, want to have the neck come down. We're doing the body first because it's easier. It's going to go up a bit, and you're just going to have, like, this paint me like your French girl's pose, so it's going to go, uh, sorry, I need to keep referencing this picture. You want the back to be a bit higher, and you want to, this is going to, I suggest putting a little bump here for, like, the leg thing. And then your pony, your pony's face, just going to have this, start with the snout, and you're going to have, a, like, a little bit of a, a curve here and then it's going to come up. You can make this as round or as childish as you want. And you're just going to have a bit of the circle on the other side of the snout. So basically what your eyes are going to be doing is going to be here and they're going to be like here. Your pony's ears are going to be like start from here and you're going to come up and go like this. The other one can go like that, or it can be like it's on here, or it can be more down, like it's flopping down, or it can be even downer. And then we're going to move this down so it doesn't run into the other one. What the leg's going to do is you want to start from here. Just going to use that back, because this is also part of the leg. Go like this, just a slight curve. 
a bump here for the leg and you're just going to go back. For the hoof. Actually, I'm going to raise that a bit. There we go. So it looks like that. This one's going to come down right under that bump I mentioned. It's just going to go slight curve like this. You want to come up. Um, basically what you want to do is I'm just going to draw this as like this. So it goes... Ah! Sorry. Um, it goes like this. And this hoof is going over here. So you're barely going to see this hoof. And it's going to go like this. Up, around, and down. This goes whoop, just like that. And the other leg you cannot see, so just move that forward a bit. What the tail is probably going to look like is the tail is going to come around and then kind of just droop like I have it on hers. It's just going to droop across the floor and the mane is probably just going to flatten around or flop forward depending on your mane style or just spread out and it's just going to fall that's a it kind of looks dead <laughs> it's funny That's how you draw a pony like that, in my style. Oh, there's a couple different positions. I have this one. I've got that one. I'm just going to close this. Um, I am sorry if you can hear that. Whatever noise is going on in the background, it's my dad, again. Uh, what else can I do? There's... I just checked the time on this. Almost an hour now. But, um... I guess that's more or less my style. Basically what it my style is, is just... Kind of, if you thought anime, you'd probably be right on track. I'm just really quickly sketching a pony head here. So you can see my process. Uh, if I were to actually just be drawing a pony. He kind of looks like he's slightly moved sideways considering the way his head's turned, so I'm just adjusting it to make it look like that. Um... Sorry, I've gone quiet. But, uh... <laughs> There's a pony drawn in a few seconds, I guess. Um, but yeah, so... This was my tutorial ish thing I guess on how to draw MLP ponies in my style how I would kind of describe it is um, round and thin at the same time I didn't manage to cover everything I guess I said I probably would but um, it's kind of what you want to just know is it starts with circles and you just want to kind of go with the flow 
and they're thinner and more sleek than I guess a lot of the ponies, so yeah, more anime s style. And it's it's kind of hard to do a tutorial on your own style, but what you just want to know is that hair has volume, face is round and thin, and the body kind of just flows with curves. So this has been Katie Frog two one seven. I have a DeviantArt on D A under the same name. And you can also find me on Twitter. I think if you use that, I have a quote of. Well, under that same name. <laughs> of course, you know my YouTube channel under this name. I think I have a Wattpad if you were to. Uh, that I don't use very often if you were to type in that name. Um, and. Yeah, stuff like that. <laughs> So, yep, this has been me, katiefrog217. I hope you had fun and enjoyed this video, this long, long video. And thank you for watching. I'll see you later, guys.